everyone. Hi, it's Miss Teresa from the Ridgewood Library. I hope you all are having a great day and I'm so glad you're going to spend a few minutes with me today. Um, we are going to read a couple of books today about colors and I'm sure everyone has a favorite color out there. My favorite color is green. Let's see. Let's start with our little hello song that we normally do in our story times or not when we are at the library together. We'll do a short version. Hello everybody. Yes indeed. Yes indeed. Yes indeed. Hello everybody. Yes indeed. Yes indeed, my darling. Yay! Good job. Okay. So today, our first book will be about a hippo and her socks. And the title of this book is called One Red Sock by Jennifer Sattler. And guess what, guys? I'm wearing one red sock. I can't find the other one. Maybe we can find it together. In a big pink chair, in a room full of dots, sat a purple hippo wearing one red sock. It looks funny this way. This just will not do. So she put on another sock. This one was, we have to guess what color. Let's see. I have to be fashionable or I cannot be seen. So she put on another sock. This one was, any guesses? Green! She stuck at her chin. This won't ruin my day. So she put on another sock. This one was gray. This is driving me crazy. It just isn't right. So she put on another sock. This one was, what do you think it will be? Who's wearing white socks today? She was losing her patience. She just told herself, think. So she put on another sock. This one was pink. She's getting very tired. Where is that other red sock? Hippo was thinking. Well, I hope this one works. It's the last one I've got. And she pulled on a sock with, a sock with what could it be? <gasps> Polka dots. Well, it's not perfect and it's definitely not red. Hmm. But at least it matches my room, she said. So she tottered off happy, though her socks weren't a pair. And the other red sock, it had always been there, right on her big pink chair. And guess what, everyone? My other red sock, I just found on my gray chair. We're going to do one little song and we'll do one more book today um, as we do our first story time online. I hope you are having fun. Oh, where, oh, where did my little sock go? Oh, where, oh, where could it be? Oh, I've looked high and I've looked low 
and I have not seen it. Oh, where, oh, where can it be? Yay! Okay. Let's do our next book. Let's put my sock on the floor. And this one is called Ned's Rainbow My Mel Melanie Walsh. Who, have, who has ever seen a rainbow? Have you ever looked up in the sky and be so surprised to see a beautiful rainbow with lots of beautiful colors shining down on you? Let's see if Ned can find one. Ned loves rainbows. He wears a rainbow hat, rainbow pajamas, and rainbow socks. But Ned has never seen a real rainbow. Until one rainy day, Ned is playing in the park. All of the sudden, the sun starts to shine and a beautiful rainbow appears across the sky. <gasps> There it is. Wow! Ned shouts as he runs towards the soft, beautiful colors. He's reaching up, stretching as high as he can. He wants to touch the rainbow. Ned runs up and down and around and around. But he can't catch the rainbow. Ned starts to cry. He cries all the way home, all the way through dinner, and even refuses to wear his rainbow pajamas to bed. Oh, poor Ned. When Ned wakes up the next morning, he doesn't look at the sky. He just goes straight to the playgroup with a long, sad face. Hmm. Ned is still sad when he comes home. He slowly climbs the stairs to his bedroom and opens the door. What color is his bedroom door? Yellow! His mom has a paintbrush in her hand. Let's see what she's done all day. <gasps> wow! My very own rainbow, shouts Ned. So now when Ned wakes up every morning, he can see and touch his very own rainbow. But he still looks out the window for real ones. The end. Yay. Okay, everyone, we're going to end story time with our goodbye song today. And I might change it up just a little bit. Here we go. My hands say thank you with the clap, clap, clap. My feet say thank you with the tap, tap, tap. Clap, clap, clap. Tap, tap, tap. I wave my hands and say goodbye. Until we meet again, see you next time. Bye, everyone.